We have lost a local NASCAR legend. Hall of Famer Junior Johnson of Wilkes County died today. He was 88 years old. Johnson's career spanned stock car racing's moonshining roots all the way up to its modern era. He was part of the sports inaugural Hall of Fame class back in 2010 and won 50 races at the cup level, the most of any driver without a championship. He was also an extraordinarily successful team owner. Johnson grew up not far from North Wilkesboro Speedway. NASCAR chairman and CEO Jim France called him, quote, the last American hero. Earlier tonight, I had the opportunity to speak with Winston Kelly, the executive director of the NASCAR Hall of Fame. He says he knew Junior was in declining health, but he did not expect he would be gone this soon. I'm not one that will say anybody is you know, the best at anything, but Junior Johnson would clearly be on the Mount Rushmore of NASCAR impact, and that's why he's an inaugural NASCAR Hall of Famer. Favor. There is nothing he didn't touch from driving the cars, designing, building the cars, and moving it forward from the business perspective. He literally did it all. He was a stellar driver, but his innovations on race cars and some of the components that are underneath the car are still used to this day. And Junior was the catalyst that brought R.J. Reynolds and their Winston brand of cigarettes into NASCAR racing, and that was just a game-changing moment. Uh, he was the one that discovered drafting at Daytona in 1960. Uh, and could somebody else have discovered it? Possibly, but he was the one that did in just the second year. Just a pleasure to be around. Very quiet, understated, uh, recognized that he was a big deal, but never acted like he was a big deal. Governor Roy Cooper tweeted his condolences shortly after the news broke a few hours ago, writing, quote, North Carolina has lost a giant with the death of NASCAR legend Junior Johnson. I just got off the phone with his wife, Lisa, and our prayers are with her, his children, Robert and Meredith, and the entire family, RC. We're also hearing from current NASCAR Cup Series driver Clint Boyer. He tells WXII, very sad day knowing that one of the most impactful people the sport of NASCAR has ever had is gone. From running shine on the back roads to winning on the track with a life story that's almost hard to believe, I think it's safe to say his legend will definitely live on forever.